A students in the Maplewood Richmond Heights School District walked out of class. This is all part of a national walkout against gun violence movement. Fox 2's Patrick Clark looks at how they're showing support. Despite a colder and damp day, students made their way outdoors to the Richmond Heights High School Middle School Athletic Field. At noon, this gathered group taking part in a nationwide coordinated show of solidarity. In gun violence is uh, it's really important to me that we are aware of this violence and that we do something to change it. So I reached out to my administrators, asked what we can do to participate. They gave me their full support and I had a meeting with my principal about uh, planning this all out. So here we are. From Winsville to Washington, D.C., students taking part in a national walkout against gun violence. After the recent school shooting in Nashville, Tennessee, student leaders here approached the principal about their desire to do something and participate. I was glad. You know, that's what we pride ourselves here, a student voice matters to us. And when they come to us with something, there's usually something behind it. So we listened and they had great ideas. Unfortunately, this is not the first time we've done this. I think this is the fourth or fifth time we've had to do this. So we have some experience doing this, um, but it was them. It was their idea, it was their planning. I listened, I took notes, I added my two cents, but they did it. Administrators from the Maplewood Richmond Heights School District, along with the Board of Education, were on site as the students displayed gun violence statistics, held a family tribute, a moment of silence, and a call to action by legislators. Missouri is one of the worst states when it comes to gun laws. You know, we have such loose ones and that affects everyone around us. You know, you see these mass shootings all over the television, you know, all these lives lost and we ha still have not done nothing. We need to reach out to our lawmakers. We need to stay angry about this until we see change. In Maplewood, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.